Hey everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this update video. I'm here with the latest with what is happening across the Caribbean and surrounding areas. And so there's a tropical wave that is in the Caribbean, uh, still helping to induce some rainfall. And uh, uh, two more are going to be approaching the Eastern Islands as we progress throughout this week. But there is also that massive Saharan dust that is going to be making its way in. And so before I go into details, please do subscribe if you haven't yet done so and tap the bell so that you never miss an important update. Alright, and so let's take a look at what is happening first for Northern South America. So we can see here that there is some activity across some spots in Colombia, going to Venezuela. Uh, not a whole lot going on for Guyana, Suriname, and especially French Guyana. We're not seeing where anything crazy is happening this morning. And then as we look up into the vicinity of the ABC Islands, likely some overcast uh, weather there. So if you're there, let me know what's happening. And then for Trinidad and Tobago, things have cleared up. However, there could be some additional additional rainfall as we progress throughout today. And so as we take a look into the area here, we can still see that there is quite a bit of activity in association with that tropical wave. But overall, uh, this will continue to decrease as the wave propagates toward the west. And so with all the moisture that is still remaining there, that presents a chance for more rainfall across some of the eastern islands, especially going up to the northeastern islands as we're going to be progressing throughout today. And we'll be looking at the rainfall maps later down in this video. But as we take a look at other areas going over into Central America, there isn't anything too crazy going on right now, but there is some activity over there. But uh, things are uh, more stable as we look towards the Bahamas, Cuba, Jamaica, the rest of the uh, the rest of Hispaniola, aside from uh, the eastern side of the Dominican Republic, and even going into the Cayman Islands. There isn't anything crazy going on there right now. And so now as we take a look at the rainfall maps, we want to see how much rainfall uh, the GFS and Euro are expecting as we're going to be progressing through today. And we are starting out with the GFS model here. So as the map becomes more colorful, the, uh, there is more rainfall that is expected. So uh, across spots in Central America, parts of Mexico, Guatemala, even going to uh, closer to the Caribbean coast of uh, Honduras and Nicaragua, down in Costa Rica and spots in Panama, there's a pretty good chance for some substantial rainfall as we're going to be heading through today. Same story across parts of northern South America. Uh, the rainfall is likely going to be heavier in some isolated spots, but uh, heading over into the Caribbean now, uh, for many areas, a whole lot of rainfall isn't likely. As I said, there's still that moisture in association with the tropical wave, and as a result, uh, there is going to be that chance for some additional rainfall as we progress, uh, especially into this afternoon. And then now we want to move on to the Euro model, and Euro is pretty much in agreement with this showing some higher totals for some spots so uh, guys in the event of very heavy rainfall uh, that can lead to flash flooding so please be mindful of that should in case there is a heavy rainfall event in your area so uh, we can see that for the Bahamas going to Cuba Jamaica the Cayman Islands much rainfall is unlikely today again there is that uh, dry stable weather across the area thanks to the Saharan air layer all right, and so now we want to go ahead and talk about that area that is highlighted, that new disturbance. So this isn't going to be a problem for the Caribbean, but a low-pressure area could develop between Bermuda and the Azores. And as of right now, there's a 20% chance that we could see something become of it. But uh, if it appears that this is certainly going to develop, then the chance will gradually increase. And the next name to be used for this hurricane season is Don. But uh, now we want to go ahead and take a look at the Saharan earlier map. And so uh, when we see more of these shades of oranges and reds, that is indicating areas of a lot more dry air, so more abundant areas of that dry air. And so we can see that across sections of the uh, Northern Caribbean and the Bahamas and Turks and Caicos Islands, as I said, uh, there isn't much activity there, and that's because of the stable weather conditions. But as we look into the tropical Atlantic, we see that the dry air is just pretty dominant right now. And so there are two more tropical waves. So uh, there we see some activity in association with one of them, that is the one further behind, but there is another that will be approaching the Caribbean. Uh, very soon and it is unlikely that that is going to be resulting in any major rainfall activity but that second one could manage to sustain itself and eventually we could see a rainfall increase as we head to later this week but as usual guys i will be keeping an eye on all that is happening and what is expected uh, of these systems and so uh now i want to briefly go over into the eastern pacific and talk about that disturbance in best 93e and so as we take a look at the infrared satellite imagery here we can see that this is 
system is not looking too good at all. So it's struggling out there. But if it should improve in its organization as we have throughout today, then it would officially become a tropical depression. However, if it doesn't, this high 90% chance we're seeing will gradually decrease as it will accelerate into much cooler water. So let's see if it is going to be pulling through. But as of right now, models are disagreeing with that and are showing that it will just gradually dissipate uh, over in the eastern Pacific. But uh, there is another disturbance to the south of the Gulf of Tehuantepec and uh, that one has a high 80% chance of development. So let's see if that one is going to manage to pull through. But it doesn't seem as though this is going to be a threat to land. And so guys, that is what I wanted to share with you. And I hope that you found this video to be informative. But if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments. I will respond once I get the chance. And remember to always be weatherwise.